Hello there, viewers. Relationships are very wonderful. The honeymoon phase can bring a wave of emotions just when you think you found your match. Early on, insecurities and the fear of losing them may arise, which may lead you to strive to be there for them constantly or to show them off with presence. Much more is needed for a relationship to be healthy than that. Let's talk about behaviors that might harm your loved one in today's video. Is it unhealthy to do everything at once? How about you paid for everything yourself? We're talking about all of that and more. Number one, you are glued to your bait. It's time to slow down if you think that doing things together will keep you together indefinitely. Even the most committed partners need time apart, even if you might want to spend every waking moment with them, from breakfast to supper. In fact, it can improve the caliber of your bond. If they have taken precedence over everything else, you should take a moment to refocus and give yourself some attention. Number two, you are suddenly Sherlock Holmes. Every time your partner's phone buzzes with a notification, are you becoming an obsessed investigator? Then you must begin to have more faith in them. Everyone is entitled to privacy as a fundamental right. You should be able to fully trust your partner until anything really unsettling comes up. Healthy communication between the two parties, respect, and trust are the cornerstones of a sustainable partnership. Number three, you never want to split the bill. Are you the one that says, hey babe, I've got it all the time, whether it's about a pizza or a stylish pair of shoes? While occasionally giving a thoughtful present is acceptable, overindulging in your partner's needs can also stifle their development. You won't really let them be on their own. Additionally, it may incite animosity and make them feel like freeloaders. Your spouse may even interpret your gesture as implying that you can't support them financially if they are really sensitive. It might be rather offensive to someone who is truly independent. Number four, you move in way too fast. One may have a roller coaster like feeling when they fall in love. You can be inclined to act impulsively because you believe every snap decision you make will be memorable and thrilling. Moving in together is a sign that you're prepared to commit to one another. It's usually preferable to get to know someone well before deciding. Waiting six months to a year or longer before moving into your partner's house is standard dating protocol. Number five, you're trying to change them. Any change may make your life more interesting, but if your concept of a good relationship is to change who you are with, you should give this one some more thought. It's simple to lose yourself in this new relationship persona and forget who you are. Do you recall how awesome your first few years of dating were? People naturally evolve and break free from their previous routines. Are you requesting that they alter their look or attire? Or might it be something more profound such as changing residences, questioning political, religious, and familial beliefs? Expecting someone else to adjust to fit your expectations is blatantly insulting and will cause a breach between you two. Number six, you're always the one compromising. In many marriages, compromise is a given nonetheless, happy couples choose adaptation above compromise. Resentment and fury will eventually surface if you are the one who is always putting others' needs before your own. You become less independent and lose your sense of self. Regularly sacrificing your happiness will not result in an excellent partnership. Number seven, you hero worship them. Despite the romanticization of this trait by our culture, it is harmful. It's acceptable to have strong beliefs about your partner's morals and qualities, but it's generally not healthy to go too far and develop an unhealthy idolization of them. Nobody is perfect. Both of you and them need to be able to accept them for who they are. You'll both be in a better place if you can see one other for who they truly are. Number eight, you always want them to be bubbling with joy. Your partner's life will experience moments when things don't go as planned. Telling them that there will be more opportunities knocking on their door is acceptable. Being your greatest supporter is wonderful, but you also need to allow them room and time to process their feelings, such as loss or grief. If you want things to get back to normal right away, it might come out as insensitive. They may even believe that you are hurting their sentiments. Number 9. Too much social media. It's okay to tell your social circle about your newfound love if you value openness. Your spouse may feel as like your relationship is on show if you share every little detail on social media, even though you might want to brag about them to the moon and back. 
Don't rely on the internet to get approval. Your privacy is a crucial component of any intimate connection and you don't want to lose it. Number 10. You shut down instead of fighting. Even if you two are like two peas in a pod, let's accept that arguments are certain to arise. We're not encouraging you to get into fights with your spouse. All those emotions will be pushed down if you decide to ignore it completely. The problem with this is that these emotions are still there and will eventually arise again. You don't want to lose interest in the other person or become enraged about petty issues, do you? A major breakup can be avoided by having a constructive conversation about everything that's bothering you. Who knows, maybe after solving your issue successfully, you'll feel closer to everyone. Even after playing the dating game for a while, it's normal to feel puzzled since love is a complex puzzle. Would you want to continue the topic with a few more love-themed videos? See this video to learn how to distinguish between desire and love. How about 10 indicators that someone likes you? Feel free to click one. Better yet, watch both to get further insight into creating a strong, enduring partnership. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to see next.